we are going to start a video series on risk management in clinical laboratory so recently there has been lot of discussion on risk management in clinical laboratory this concept as such is not new to the clinical laboratory but it was not been emphasized previously the risk management was also there in iso 15189 2012 in clause number 4.14 0.6 but it was not emphasized previously now even when we are going to see the new iso 15189 2022 there is much more emphasis on risk management in clinical laboratory and here many of the lab professionals are not aware about how to perform or how to do this risk management in clinical laboratory or what is meant by risk management so with the help of this video series we are going to see what is risk in the clinical laboratory how to perform the risk management in clinical laboratory and there have been lot of other documents which are related with the risk management so we are going to see the introduction of all other documents as well as the actual risk management in clinical laboratory with the help of these reference documents we will be including lot of practical examples with respect to the risk management in clinical laboratory please go through this complete series on risk management in clinical laboratory we will try to understand how to perform the risk management so we will proceed with the lecture series on risk management in clinical laboratory stay tuned and keep following thank you